Hello or welcome back to the channel. Uh, out on the trip at the moment in the Russian bear market up to tent. Thought I'd take the opportunity to show you in a little more detail the ins and outs of sort of the workings of it. So let's have a look inside. I don't have with me a wide angle lens today so I'm going to interject some footage from previous trips with the tent. Um, but yeah, you can see it's a spacious thing. It's like a TARDIS this. It doesn't look that big from the outside but on the inside there is bags of room and that's a lot down to the dome shape. The tent can be set up with various configurations. You could have uh, the stove and two beds in here quite comfortably or if you're using it for one like I do you can have a chair, a table and a bed as well as the stove. Still have plenty of room for manoeuvring and you've got the option of a door either side as well. The tent itself is absolutely bomb proof. It's such a well made piece of kit and that's probably due to it being from Russia and designed for sort of Siberian winters. To put up the tent you just use the built in umbrella mechanism. So this tent goes up as quickly as any other tent I've got despite its size. It's also the only tent I've ever used that has the option of using a swing door. On the two opposite sides from the two doors of the tent you've got the windows as well. Now I said the tent itself has two layers but the windows have the inside layer, they have a mesh screen, they have the outer layer which I've got open already here. You've then got both a clear window and the proper outer there as well which you can have like so. And on the outside of these windows all of the flaps are protected to keep water out. The doors are similar too, you've got your outer, you've got your mesh and you've got your inner as well. And that's as well as the swing opening door as well. On the five sides of the dome that haven't got the door or the stove you have these pockets as well and there's three on each side. You also have the option of a velcro on pocket system for each side as well. Today I've got the tent set up on a ground sheet which is a three or four layer I can't quite remember that's an option just to keep it insulated inside. The whole bottom of the tent will unzip so you can open that up and you have openings inside of the ground sheet where you can do ice fishing and such. On the top you have like a hammock pocket system and you have many many tie outs and clips where you can put lamps or dry clothes in the hot tent. These tie outs also go around the sides of the tent as well so you could put up a washing line or whatever you want. Now this is one of the Russian bear market stoves. Um, they're an interesting design. They have the chimney on the front and they have a baffle inside so that heat goes around and up. They've also got inside the tent this velcroed on heat shield which goes all the way up to the stove jack and the stove itself comes with a heat proof sheet to put it on as well. Um, the system works very well inside of the tent. The stove itself comes with side baffles which protect the glass, spare parts, comes with smoke detector, all of that stuff as well. Um, it's an extremely efficient stove I've found through using it. You can load it up, um, close it down and it just works for ages. I've had this go all night with just a couple of pieces of oak in it. The stove also has an ashtray that you can pull out at the bottom there. It has your dampener air vent there which can be taken off fully or just adjusted with holes inside it and to insert wood you take off the whole front. Now this is probably the weakest point of this stove this can be a little funny to get fully on and off and then your opening isn't massive for clearing out and for adding wood but uh, it works well the stove is so efficient that I'll forgive it that though I would probably prefer a door of some sort. At the bottom of the tent underneath the stove there's a small vent which you can roll up and that allows fresh air to come in and be heated by the stove. The stove jack on this tent is also very impressive. You've got heat shielding on two separate layers. You've got metal rings which the chimney itself fits through. 
The flaps themselves are backed with heat shielding and all the way around you have these flaps for stopping water from getting through. Apologies, we've got an aeroplane going overhead making quite a lot of noise. But I thought I'd go over some of the dimensions and stuff, some of the specs of the tent as well. I'll link it below and what I'd recommend as well is checking out the first video for my kind of initial reaction of this which I'll link at the end of this one. Um, up to, so we've got a weight here of 60 pounds. Got two fly, two entrances, the floor. It says a capacity, a maximum of seven people. Uh, I guess you could in some kind of desperate situation without the stove, but uh, I'd say it's a two person tent, two people with beds. Packed size is 52 by 14 by 14 inches. It is quite a big bag that it comes with, and you have got an awning with that as well. The umbrella style frame is aviation grade aluminium. So far I've had no issues with it at all. So the outer and inner fly are Oxford 300 PU 4000 and 210 PU 2000 for that inner as well. So you're pretty well protected in this. In my setup I've got the medium sized stove. Uh, I'd say for England that's maybe a little overkill, the small would probably be fine. If you're using this in colder climates, you're probably going to welcome that medium sized stove though. Uh, plenty of room on there for cooking and stuff as well. I've even had the oven on it on this trip. I've probably picked the worst angle for sun in my eyes here. Uh, but yeah, my summary on this tent is it's probably the best tent I've ever used. Um, it's bomb proof, it's so well thought out, every aspect of it works in the way it should. It's so quick to put up and take down, it's not too hard to pack away. Um, the only negative points are not really negatives about what it is supposed to be. Right, it's quite high cost, but it is quite high quality and there's a lot of tent there for your money. And the size and weight of it, but again, you know, this is, is built for going on snowmobiles, ATVs, truck camping, that sort of thing, for ice fishing trips and hunting trips. You're not supposed to be hiking up a mountain with this. So the two negatives really aren't negatives if you know what I mean. There are tents that are almost this price which are just normal small tents so you know you're getting quite a lot for your money. I've not really had any negative experiences with this so far. Everything's worked quite well. Uh, the awning is hard to put up but I've not really used it myself yet. It's a great tent. I mean you would know if you need or want this sort of tent. Um, if you don't then you know it's not the thing for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah it's fantastic if you're after something like this check them out. I'll put the links below and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.